Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about 57 pesos to the dollar. That's right, 57 pesos to the dollar. That's a great deal for you guys, for you guys waiting at home, waiting to come over here, because if it's still at that rate, you're gonna you're gonna be drowning in pesos over here. Because when you, you know, when you go to exchange your pesos, you're gonna be making a lot more money. Your rent just became cheaper. I'm over here at Justin's house today and we're still working on the doors. We just varnished this one. You can see it looks like glass. It's all shiny. It's looking good. We're getting ready to put those doors up and pretty soon we'll be over here painting. And also we're working on this apartment too. <laughs> this is my other apartment. We rent this and we have um, some relatives staying here sometimes. But we're gonna be doing this one for, for my girlfriend's daughter. For my, I consider her my daughter too. Um, She's studying to be a nurse and everything, and we're gonna be putting her in here. And it's a beautiful little house, so we're gonna have this all painted up, paint the ceilings, we're gonna do the doors in this one too, make it look like brand new. Um, eventually we'll probably put some sort of AC in there or whatever, we'll see how that goes. Right now we're gonna leave it with just fans in there. But um, it's already kind of cool in there, except for during the dry season, it does get kind of muggy and hot in there. But we are gonna put some sort of AC, probably in, either in the window, or we'll put a, a one horsepower um, split type AC in there. But anyway, guys, I wanna talk a little bit about um, the 57 to one. 57 to one, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a bargain. You know, we haven't seen it this high in a long time. In fact, I think this is the record right now. The, the record has just been broken, I believe. I think somebody said that it was just broken the other day. So, I mean, that's a great deal for expats now who are getting ready to come over here. But I wanna talk about this a little bit because a lot of guys are getting ready to come over here and there's some guys that just are better off in the US. And I wanna talk about this because you get a lot more social programs back there. For some of you guys that are really just super disabled and you're on a low budget or something, it's not the place to be over here if you have a lot of medical costs. Okay, granted you can do a lot of things over here um get low rents and stuff like that unless you have a lot of money banked or whatever medical costs they can they can they can kill you over here if they're not getting picked up by medicare medicaid and all that stuff and your insurance from maybe where you worked or whatever you know so you really have to think out what you're going to do now for you guys that are healthy and you're coming over here or whatever guess what this is the place to be you know and if you buy some pacific cross health insurance like we've talked about this is the place to come and and and, and make it especially with that 57 pesos to one dollar the rents just went down a lot because when you're paying 60 bucks I means less than 60 bucks when you're paying three thousand pesos over here for your um for your rent and and then you divide that by 57 it's less than 60 bucks you're getting you're getting a place over here you're getting a a one bedroom over here for less than 60 bucks that's a deal uh we pay 80 for mine because mine's a little bit bigger but the one over here that we just showed and and justin's those are 60 dollars and they're they're a little bit hard to find getting harder to find in our area now uh, a lot of the expats have taken them up <clears throat> they've found them all um and people come into this area because they're cheaper. Some people I, I, that have written in my comments in the past that, Steve, your area is a, like a squatter's area. No, it's not. It's anything else but. We live right next, right behind the mayor here, okay? We have a, we have a lot of nice homes. A lot of um, people that live on the street are middle-class Filipinos. Now, middle-class Filipino over here is different than a middle-class person back in the U.S., granted, but it's still middle-class over here, okay? So for you guys looking to come over here, this is a great area to come, but I also want to talk about this a little bit. For you guys back in the States that are still struggling, still trying to save or whatever, there's a place There's a place called Ranger, Texas. Ranger, Texas is one of the cheapest places to live in the U.S. You can still rent a home there, uh, like a studio or one bedroom for guess how much? Less than 500 or less. That's a steal. You're not going to be able to find that too many places in the U.S. It might maybe in in places like Buffalo or places like that. There's a few places in Massachusetts, in, 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 the, in the western part of the states where you can still find low rents, but not 500. Um, there's still places up in, maybe in uh, Berlin, New Hampshire. A uh, couple places also in in um, Maine. And there's a few places maybe out in, in um, out west or whatever, in some of the western towns that are kind of secluded and off the beaten path or whatever, you can still find some cheap rents out there. But they're probably going to be closer to like six or seven hundred for a studio or one bedroom. 
But anyway, guys, I want to talk about that a little bit today because that 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 57 to 1 thing is a great thing for us. It's not great for Filipinos over here. So if you guys live over here, be sure to help out some of the ex the um, Filipinos over here. Give them a job once in a while or let them clean stuff. Give them a way to, to bring themselves up. And don't low, low ball them on, their, on, on what you give them. Give them a, a decent wage. Um, treat them decent because... You know, we talked about this uh, silent quitting. We talk about this quite often. People laugh about it because I, I do bring it up. I noticed that some people, and I would feel the same way. If somebody was paying me $7 to work for the day, I don't think I'd want to even bother getting up out of my bed in the morning. I'd probably be a little bit late for work, maybe an hour or two late before I started working or whatever. If somebody was paying me $7 a day, I wouldn't give me much, much, you know, oomph to get up out of bed in the morning. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to be, be that guy that pays that person seven. Give them more, give them more. Always pay these people a little bit more because you know what? They're worth it. You got the income coming in. You're getting your U.S. income over here and you're living in a Filipino world. So your money goes two to three times further over here because the rents are so cheap. But anyway, anyway guys, I want to say God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show.